Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Booze Bites, the show where I teach you how to cook with booze, but not just any booze, local booze. I have been craving brunch lately and really the only thing that makes brunch better is boozy brunch. Honestly, is there any other way to brunch? I don't think so. So today we are going to be brunching it up boozy style with some espresso pecan pancakes with a rum brown sugar maple syrup. I mean, doesn't that just make you wanna get out of bed? The rum we are using for this recipe is from Montauk Distillery. It's their black sale rum, and I'm very excited to try it. I'm not someone who can drink rum straight, especially in the morning, especially for brunch. So we are gonna make a little rum punch. That is gloriously beautiful. Ooh, that's exciting. That is zippy. Let's get cooking. So with any great pancake recipe, we have started out with some flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and salt in here. But to take it up a notch, to wake up our senses a little bit, we are going to be adding some instant espresso. And we want to whisk that up with a whisk that's not wet, ideally. We are going to be adding our wet ingredients. We have buttermilk, egg, and a little bit of melted butter. We want to mix this the least amount as possible. Once it's combined, stop mixing. You don't want to overmix. It's okay if it's still lumpy. That is what makes a great pancake. And then before I have finished mixing completely, I'm going to throw in my crushed pecans. Here is where I'm going to stop. You can see I can still have some flour chunks. It's not completely mixed. This is what you're going for. I am going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about half an hour. Just kind of lets the batter relax after I just agitated it a little bit. And in the meantime, we are going to make our syrup. So we want to amp up brunch. We always want to amp up brunch. Brunch is the meal that's meant to be amped. So we are starting with, of course, some good quality maple syrup. To that, we are adding a little bit of freshly ground nutmeg, a cinnamon stick that I'm gonna break if I can, a splash of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a couple tablespoons of rum. You be the judge of how boozy you want it. This is gonna go on the stove at about a medium heat. We want everything to melt. We want it to come to a boil and we want it to thicken a little bit. Now we are going to make the pancakes. First we are going to melt a few tablespoons of butter over medium-low heat. Then we are going to scoop up about a quarter cup of batter, maybe a little bit more, and plop two of those down into our nonstick pan. I let it cook for about four minutes on each side and then I gave it a little flip. Look, we're not all perfect. Not every flip is going to be the best flip, but by the end of it, I was getting the hang of it. Pancakes always work that way. I feel like even if you're a pro, the first time around is always super difficult. Then I just repeated those steps until I had gone through all my batter. And now we can try them. This is so beautiful. It smells amazing. The syrup, oh, it's just like decadence. And then this, this is the best part right here. I mean, these alone are a reason to brunch. They're spectacular. The pancakes are a little bit crispy on the outside. They have a little bit of crunch from that pecan. You get that tiny hit of coffee, which is amazing in the morning. The syrup is so subtle. You get that little oomph from the rum, the sweetness, the brown sugar. It's just kind of exactly what I want on brunch. This looks like a lot and it is, but will I eat them all? Probably. Oh love them love this love this recipe love everything about it this is amazing you should make them brunch lunch breakfast dinner any time of the day honestly but with that said i'm gonna finish this i'm gonna finish this so cheers